Welcome to another episode of Jamming with Jason. Hey, today we're going to talk about an attitude of gratitude. And I know you've heard me talk about gratitude before, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit different today. And I'm actually going to give you some takeaways that you can actually start practicing this week to help you feel more grateful and actually just feel happier in general. So let's roll that episode now. All right, well, I wanna talk about gratitude. Again, you've heard me talk about this a lot, but it's because it's important, okay? Trust me, it is important. <laughs> Had that attitude at the end of that word that doesn't exist. All right, getting you laughing because again, hey, it's unscripted. I hit record and here we go. So like I said, I want to talk about gratitude um, because um, it was probably last week, you know, I batch I batch these uh, recordings, so not sure when you would have heard it. But if you listen to the episode on you don't need a therapist, coach, or a guru, um, one of the things that I was talking about on there is, you know, a lot of the things you just need to do yourself, right? And so again, I'm not here to be a therapist. I'm not here to be your coach. I'm not here to be your guru, but I am here to give you some of those practices or exercises that you can actually start doing on your own uh, to be able to help you feel better, okay? And so again, let me, let me just kind of recap a little bit. A lot of times people uh, try to do things like therapy, okay? And, and so let's say again that... Um, you're feeling depressed, right? For whatever reason, something isn't going right. So you're feeling sad. You're feeling depressed. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. If you go, well, you, you've done this already, I'm sure, right? So let's say you're depressed or you're sad. You go to one of your friends and you start talking to them about how sad and depressed you are. And so you talk about that and what ends up happening? You continue to feel sad and depressed. Why? Because you're talking about being sad and depressed. <laughs> and that's going to keep you sad and depressed. Okay. And again, a lot of times if you're talking to a, to a friend, a lot of times it becomes a bitch and moan session. You're blaming other people. You feel pity, pity for yourself. Well, woe is me. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Now, I'm sure if you're like most people, and I have been guilty of doing that at times in my life as well, right? Talking about things like that don't actually change how you're feeling because you're talking about being sad and depressed. And so you stay sad and depressed, okay? Now, there are some easy things that you can do to start changing that okay and one of those is if you're tired of thinking about and feeling sad and depressed move your attention and start feeling differently okay it's as simple it is as simple as that moving your attention so that you start feeling and being different if you don't want to feel sad and depressed then stop thinking about being sad and depressed, move your attention, do some things, do some exercises, some practices, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to share some with you today on the episode to get your mind off of being sad and depressed. And the minute that you do that, you will move to a different emotional state. And by moving to that different emotional state and frequency, you will no longer feel sad and depressed. It is that simple. It's that simple. Okay. I'm going to say it again. It's that simple. Now, a lot of people, and you might be one of them, if you're skeptical about it, might be saying, yeah, but how does moving my attention, how does feeling different, that doesn't stop anything from happening bad in my life. I still have all these bad, bad, bad things that are going on, right? Well, if you're not thinking about them, they don't exist. 
And so I'm not talking again about shoving it down and not addressing things that need to be addressed. But most of the things that you're probably sad and depressed about are in the past, they no longer exist, or you're worried about the future. So get into a present state that is better and is different than that, okay? So let's talk about a few of the ways that you can do this. So <clears throat> talk about moving into a different emotional state that is higher vibration, that is a better state to be in. Because I'll tell you, being sad and depressed sucks. It sucks, okay? So what can you move into? Well, there's certain ones like joy, love, gratitude that are great emotional states to be in. And in fact, what will happen is your body will literally vibrate at a higher frequency and you will heal yourself just by feeling different, okay? You don't have to do anything other than that. And literally, your body will heal itself from those things that are going on. Now, today, I just picked the one on gratitude. I just picked the emotional state of gratitude. Why? Because it's one that I go back to over and over again, okay? In fact, I will tell you, I'm not going to give you any of the details, but I'm going through some shit right now in my life, right? Now, I could focus on how shitty my life is, or I can just focus on being grateful. Which one do you think I'm doing? I focus on being grateful. That is one of the emotions that I go back to over and over and over again, because gratitude is one of the best emotions that you can feel. It's a high vibration frequency, and it will make you feel better. I promise. I swear to you, it will make you feel better. Okay, so some of you might be saying, well, but how do I do that? How do I do that? Right, that's Jason's bad, uh, bad, bad voice interpretations. But there you go. Maybe it made you laugh, right? Maybe that funny little voice that I just made made you laugh. And the minute that you started to laugh with me, not at me, I'm sure, right? But the minute you started to laugh in that present moment, you were no longer feeling anything else but the joy and the happiness that comes from when we laugh, right? And so that's why a lot of times people will use things like laughter as a way, as, as a mechanism to help them get to a higher vibrating frequency like joy or happiness, okay? Well-being is another word for happiness, okay? And so that's, that's an example of a trick, uh, a practice, an exercise that you could use to get your mind off of being sad and depressed, right? If you just start laughing, okay? In fact, I did a whole, I think, couple of episodes with somebody about laughing who is a laughter expert. So if you miss those episodes, scroll back and go listen to that. Because I promise you, if you listen to that half hour, 45 minute hour, whatever it was episode, you will be laughing and you will forget everything else that is going on. You'll be in a different state of mind, okay? But today we're going to talk about gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Because I will tell you, no matter how shitty your life might seem, there is always something to be grateful for. Say it again. No matter how shitty you think your life might be, there is always something to be grateful for. You just have to look for it, right? And in the words of the great philosopher and rock star Gene Simmons from KISS, any day above ground is a good day, right? So if nothing else, you can be grateful that you are alive. You are alive right now. You are breathing, right? Even at its very simplest thing. But again, 
let's get into some practical ways that you can do this. Because again, what you're trying to do is move your attention. Okay. So one of the ways to do that is a technique that I teach people. And I call it the 10 by three. 10x3, 10 by three. Okay. And I like that term because, hey, I'm a contractor's son and we grew up moving two by fours and building walls and two by sixes, two by eights, four by fours, right? So I like 10 by three. I don't know, right? But what does 10 by three mean? It means that you can say something to yourself 10 times a day, or sorry, 10 times in a row, three times a day, right? So 10 by three means. 10 times in a row, three times a day. So you're saying it to yourself 30 times. Now, why are we doing that? Because the way your subconscious works is the first few seconds or the first few times that you do anything, your subconscious is in the back crying bullshit. Okay? That's why you do it 10 times in a row. Now, what are you doing 10 times in a row? It can be something as simple as this. I am grateful. I am grateful. Or I feel grateful. Now, the first couple of times you do it, your subconscious is, it's, it's going to sound like this, okay? You're not going to hear your subconscious do it, but this is what's happening, okay? And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to mirror this to you, or I'm going to, I'm going to explain right so so again I'll, I'll try to use my little funny voices on this but but here's here's what it would look like right so here i am jason and i'm going to use my regular voice and then i'm going to use my i don't know my sub my subconscious voice <laughs> okay so i'm going to sit down and again why 10 because you got 10 fingers right so it's easy enough for you to keep track of how many times you have done it or maybe you have eight fingers and two thumbs, right? It depends on who you talk to. But anyway, you got 10 digits on your hands. So it's easy for you to keep track of. And so here's how it would look, right? I feel confident. I put up my thumb or a finger, right? I feel confident. No, you don't, Jason. I feel confident. No, you don't, Jason. Sorry, we're doing we're doing gratitude, not confidence, right? Okay, let me do it again. Let me do it again, right? And again, it can be whatever it is that you want to that you want to program using this. But we're going to use "I feel grateful." Okay, so here we go again. I feel grateful. No, you don't, Jason. I feel grateful. No, you don't, Jason. I feel grateful. Oh, I feel grateful. Really? I feel grateful. Hmm. I feel grateful. I feel grateful. Hmm. Maybe I should pay attention. I feel grateful. I feel grateful. I feel grateful. Now, for those of you that can feel energy, you could probably tell that there was even a little bit of a shift in your body and the way you were feeling and the energy that was coming through this podcast by me saying that 10 times. It's not even you saying it, it's just me saying it, right? But the first few times that you say it, your subconscious is going to cry bullshit, okay? That's why we say it 10 times. Now, why three times a day? 30 times a day of reminding yourself of something like that will start to reprogram it in your mind. Now, again, I'm not being specific. I'm just saying I feel grateful. The more you say that to yourself, the more you will start to identify and recognize things that you are grateful for. Okay. Now, this is one of those things. Again, it's a practice. It's an exercise, whatever you want to call it you've got to be consistent in doing it. And so what I what I suggest is commit to doing it for seven days, right? To begin with. 
Now, this is probably something that you should do every single day, but commit to it for seven days. Do it three times a day for seven days and see how you feel. I promise if you do it and if you say it with feeling, you will feel more grateful. You will see more gratitude in your life. You will feel more peace. Okay, now again, do it, don't do it. I don't care. I'm just here to provide you with the information. You can do it or not do it. Okay, that's one option. And I'm going to give you three or four different options. So, you know, don't feel like you've got to do all of them. But one of them, at least, that I'm going to talk about today should resonate with you. And so pick that one and do it at least for a week, then do it for the second week, then do it for the third week, do it for the fourth week. And after you do it, probably about that long, you're going to really start to feel different. Okay, so that's 10 by three. The next one is a gratitude journal. So again, a lot of people, you know, like to have pen and paper, and this is better. I mean, I always have a pen and I've got paper down here with me. Uh, it's good to actually longhand write it instead of typing it. There's a difference in the way that the, the, the neurons in your brain fire off. It's better for you to actually write it out, but get a gratitude journal. It can just be a piece of paper. You can go buy a fancy book. It doesn't matter, but find a couple of things every day that you're grateful for. And again, to begin with, hey, they might be little things that you might take for granted, but we're going to be grateful for them anyway. So as an example, it's been raining a lot here in California. Now, every day that the sun comes out, I am grateful for the sun, right? I love feeling the sun on my skin, the warmth, the light, right? So especially on days when it was raining and overcast and cloudy, I was very grateful the next day when the sun came out, right? There's something simple that again, even if you can't think of anything else, you can be grateful that the sun came out today, right? And in fact, the sun comes out every day, whether you can see it or not, right? It comes out every day. But can you find something like the sun coming out that you can feel grateful for? What about, you know, if you're sitting outside and you hear the birds chirping? I love to hear birds chirp, right? And so when I hear the birds chirp, I actually kind of send out to them energetically, thank you birds for coming and singing to me. I am grateful to you. And so almost every day when the birds come and chirp at me, I say that at least once and I kind of send those birds love and energy uh, for coming and chirping and making my day better, right? That's again, something that you can be simply grateful for. That's something simple. Um, you know, most of you probably have two legs and can walk, right? Are you grateful that you have a body who allow, that allows you to walk, you know, that, because there are people in this world who don't have legs or who are paralyzed and that can't walk, right? Can you be grateful for the opportunity to walk? Now, again, in the gratitude journal, here's how you would do it. You get up, you spend a minute, two minutes, doesn't matter, and just literally write down a couple of things every day that you're grateful for. You can stop after 30 seconds. You can go for five or 10 minutes if you feel like there's lots of things that you're grateful for. Um, I mean, that's fine, right? You keep writing as long as you want to. The longer you write, the better you're going to feel. <clears throat> Excuse me. But even if you can only write down one or two things, it's a start. Now, how can you use a gratitude journal besides that? At any of those times during the day when you're, when you're feeling a little down, you can always pull that out and you can read to yourself some of the things that you're grateful for and focus your attention and energy on those things, even just for a few seconds, will help you to feel grateful in that particular moment. Okay, so that's gratitude journal. Another one that I like to use is flip it to see the positive. Flip it around and see the positive, right? So you know, there's a great, uh, grateful, a great, grateful dead song, um, you know, about silver linings. 
as well, right? That there, there happens to be a silver lining, even though there's a touch of gray, there's usually a silver lining in pretty much everything that we look at. And so again, can you turn it around, right? To be able to see the positive in everything where normally you would be negative, right? So again, think about a challenge maybe that you have. Can you see that challenge as maybe an opportunity for growth, right? Can you see that? Can you start to flip it around? Can you start to use words, right, that show that you're grateful for your challenges instead of bitching and moaning about them, right? And again, if you think about it, you can probably find the positive in everything, right? And so again, Told you one of my friends going through a divorce, she's having a hard time seeing any positives out of it, right? And so again, even when I try to put, put things forth like, hey, this is an opportunity for you to be a lot more independent. This is an opportunity for you to change your life to be exactly what you want it to be without having to consider a partner, right? Or compromising because of some relationship that you're in. And again, I know when people are going through it, a lot of times they don't want to hear things like that. But the better that you can get about flipping things around to always see the positive, right? You can feel grateful for those things that are the positive, right? Okay, so that's the third one. And I'm going to give you a fourth one now, which is music, right? I love music. And so I will specifically listen to music that will get me in certain states, right? So for example, if I want to feel hopeful, right? If I want to feel hope, feel hopeful for the future, there are certain songs that really make me feel hopeful, right? And so if I want to feel hopeful, I listen to those songs on repeat. I will get up and I will listen to the same song three, four, five, ten times, right? So that I get that feeling in my body of hope. Maybe there's songs that make you feel grateful for something or someone, right? I'm sure that if you think about it, there are certain songs maybe that remind you of someone that you love or someone that you are grateful for. And so as you listen to that music, you can think fondly about that person that you love, that person that you are grateful for. And as you're focusing your attention on that, you will be feeling more gratitude, right? And again, you can use music for any of the different emotions as well. I mean, today we were just trying to talk about gratitude. And again, why are we talking about gratitude? Because gratitude is one of those higher vibration emotions that when you can feel grateful, you get out of your shit, you get out of feeling pitiful for yourself, you know, you get out of sad and depressed because in the present moment, you're and when you are being grateful, you can't be thinking about those other things, right? Because presently, that is where you are focused. Okay, now, last week's episode, again, I told you you don't need a therapist, you don't need a coach, you don't need a guru, right? You just need to do some of these things and take responsibility for how you feel and be committed and disciplined to actually doing it. Now, what I just gave you, right, those four different little quick exercises or practices or whatever you want to call them, a lot of people would sell you a $300 or a $1,000 course to give you that same information. But that's what I was talking about, right? You don't need to pay me $1,000 for this. I want you to have a great life. I want to share with you what I have learned right? But the fact that I'm sharing it isn't going to change your life. Even if you were to give me $1,000 for it, that's not going to change your life, right? The only thing that is going to change your life is if you actually 
put into practice some of these things, right? Now, if you put some of these things into practice and you're like, Jason, oh my gosh, that totally changed my life. I am so grateful for you. Then I would love that. I would love that. But again, I'm not doing it for you to feel that way towards me. I just want you to do it because I'm tired of seeing people sad and depressed and feeling pitiful. And believe me, you, right? I have spent enough of my life feeling pitiful and sad and all that other negative emotion bullshit, right? That's why every single day, I promise you, I swear, every single day, I do something to feel grateful. Every single day. And you can do that too, right? It's just you have to choose it. You have to take the time and you have to do it. But again, right? You don't need somebody unless you need somebody to kick you in the butt. But then that's not really being responsible. These are all things that you could do. And I promise you, I have seen this in my life. There were certain points in my life when I felt so pitiful. I felt so much sorrow. I felt so much sadness in my life. And I would allow other people to keep me there. I would allow myself to stay there. I would do the woe is me, poor Jason, blah, 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 blah. And it sucks. Okay. So I've started changing what I'm doing. I'm feeling more grateful. I'm laughing more. I'm, I'm being happier. I'm doing those things to help me get in those other states. I want the same thing for you. But again, I'm just sharing information with you. Take it. Do with it. Don't do with it. I don't care. It's your life, right? If you want to stay in those emotions, stay in those emotions, right? But I'll tell you, it is so much better being out of those emotions taking responsibility for your life, flipping things around, seeing the positives in it, you know, having that empowerment, feeling love and gratitude and happiness, because the more that you can spend every single day in these higher uh, vibration emotions, the better your life is, but also the better the lives are of everyone around you and everyone in this world, right? And so, again, take it, leave it, up to you. But um, I wanted to come on and, and share with you as kind of a follow-up to last week's episode and actually share some real things that work for me, some real things that have worked for lots of other people, uh, and uh, hopefully they'll work for you as well. So I'll be sharing more. I'll be sharing more. But remember, have an attitude of gratitude. Do something, even if it's only 30 seconds or a minute a day, to help you feel grateful each day. Um, I shared with you the 10 by 3 method, the gratitude journal, flipping it to see the positive, using music as a way to help you do that. So again, there's four different things you can choose from uh, to go out and make this week the best week that you've ever had and the most grateful that you feel by implementing these. So with that, have a great week and I will see you on the next episode. Ciao.